What's up guys? Welcome back to Roots and Refuge. So we have a big storm headed our way. Of course, uh, Hurricane Ian made landfall yesterday and the trajectory of the storm that's currently predicted is that it's gonna pass over us into the next day and um, it should just be a tropical storm here, but they're not 100% sure what's gonna happen when it kind of dips back into the Atlantic. So we're just getting ready for what could be potentially some strong winds and um, and heavy rain. It's already very windy out here, so I might have to do some voiceover, um, but I'm gonna take you guys around and tell you what we're doing. Now, we are new to the East Coast. Uh, we just moved to South Carolina last year, but we're from Arkansas, so we're used to tornado weather, and we're used to doing what we need to do to prepare for storms that are gonna have um, high winds, so. Let's go batten down the hatches. We actually have some friends here visiting right now. This trip's been planned for a while. <laughs> We've got Josh and Jordan here from Worky's, Working Aussie's Homestead. And they brought, well that's Katie, but they brought some babies to get a little socialization. Oh. How old are these babies? Seven and a half weeks. Seven and a half weeks. And they are getting lots of snuggles here today. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bickley. You guys well, see, see a good deal of him on here. <laughs> so Josh and Jordan came down from North Carolina to visit today. Uh, they were bringing this litter of puppies to play with the kids and, you know, socialize them and also just to visit and catch up. They haven't been down here since like March. One of the things that I am going to do um, and that I do anytime we have any storm, not even a bad one like this, but just any storm, is I make sure that this greenhouse is completely shut. Now it's the end of the season. Um, we're gonna just kind of hunger games all the plants out here. I'm sure if we get any really high winds, heavy rain, some of these larger plants are probably gonna take a little bit of a beating, but it just is what it is. Now I have had my green stalks withstand some pretty high winded storms up until this point. We had a tropical storm come through Arkansas a couple years ago and we've never had anything turn over or have any damage, but I'm thinking I may lift up the top half of this and put it on the ground just because our little support that we made for them is just a little off-centered and if these were perfectly level i wouldn't worry about it but being that it's slightly slanted that would be on me if this fell over so can you better use... be safe than sorry yeah so can you use your muscles and take the top probably two or three oh, tiers off of that i don't have muscles oh jeremiah <laughs> Look, being a candle is <laughs> You're the worst. <laughs> oh, both of them, right? Just the top three off will probably be just fine. Okay. It'd probably be fine. It's just those rocks under have settled a little bit. We just need to re-level them. You don't always get to have a warning to, you know, level out your stuff and come out. And so for me, if we have the warning, might as well. That's all reseeded celosia that's popping up here. This came out of, cause I had this in the green stock. Oh, that's cool. And it's all over. So it doesn't matter if you step on it in that way. I didn't put it there. I saw you dancing around trying not to step on the plants. <laughs> you sweet angel. You <laughs> not care, no I care. <laughs> Thank you. Look at that and baby. Still, uh, no, she's so white, cute. Like, no. I love how they just like lay out flat like this. <laughs> They're so cute. Hey babies. I know. He's like, I am not ready for my close up. Wiz? Yes. Try not to get blown away out here. I don't know if this is even going to be able to be heard. It's so windy. This is just the beginning. Yeah. All right, we'll see. Hopefully, I don't know if my sunflowers will fare through this. Another thing that we do before a big storm comes through like this is we assess our trees. Um, so we have one tree across the pond that has quite a few dead branches, but there's nothing underneath it. If branches fall, it's not that big of a deal. If we had any trees that had any dead branches, or if we had trees that we weren't um, super confident in the integrity around structures or animals, like out in the field where the cows were, we would go ahead and just cut it down. Um, cut the branches off, cut the tree down. 
Uh, we don't have a lot of trees here, so it's not really that big of an issue. But I did go today downtown to our coffee house, which we're in the middle of working on, and just assessed that uh, to make sure there wasn't anything we needed to do to protect our property before we are anticipating high winds. All right, next step, we are actually closing up the high tunnel. All right. Yeah, look at this wind that already came in the high tunnel and knocked my citrus over. My lemon tree fell over. saw when we were still there came through and we asked them what their like official stance was to protect your high tunnel from strong winds and their their official stance is to take the plastic off if we were like in more of a direct line of the storm as it made landfall that's what we would do however um, here inland as far inland as we are it's probably fine So Maya is going to get the stuff to secure these edges. We have straps for them, but they're not installed. And this is the first time the walls have been down since we put the high tunnels up. People argue what's better to have the high tunnels closed or open, but I've seen more people agreeing that closed is better. These frames can withstand pretty high winds. I can't remember what they told me because it's been a couple years, but I mean, something like 70 mile per hour winds, just not super consistently. Um, we're supposed to get like 30 to 40 mile per hour winds is what is being predicted. Uh, and so I feel like closed is better. If we felt like we were getting like really intense, like like I said, if we were closer to the, to the shore, obviously if like taking the plastic off and putting it back on just takes a lot of time. And I don't feel like it's enough of a risk to do that. Hopefully I don't eat those words, but by closing it up, the wind can't get up underneath here and pick the frame up, bend the frame. Because if we have the walls rolled up, obviously the roof is on and it could catch a gust a lot more. And by closing it up, they're right by each other. That does provide some protection here. They're not gonna be getting the full brunt of the wind from, you know, they'll only get it from one side because they're protecting each other. And, um, this is also gonna protect all those plants. I have all those fruit trees and stuff in here. All of my fruit trees from my orchard are currently in this high tunnel and I would like to protect them from the wind because if those get knocked around, they could get broken in half and that would be bad. I'm actually gonna get in here. So um, on the big door, Maya's actually screwing the plastic down. It's got the strap. Another thing that we've got going into the stormy weekend is um, we made sure that we have fuel in our tanks. Um, obviously our vehicles are filled up. Our fuel tank is topped off. Um, and that we have, for the purpose being that we have fuel to run our generator. We have deep freezers that have the meat in it that we raise here. Um, because our freezers are full, because we're coming into winter, which is the time of year that we have the most meat coming out of the growing season. Um, they actually have a few days of staying frozen as long as they're not open. Uh, and so one big thing that we make sure we have before we go into a storm weekend is like painter's tape, blue tape, that we can go in and just tape all of our freezers and our fridges shut because the biggest issue with them thawing is kids, namely forgetting, don't open it a thousand times a day. So uh, we have tape, we have fuel, we have a generator and hopefully we don't need it. But if power does go down for a little while, 
we'll be able to protect the investment that we've made in food. I was actually planning on planting some of this stuff out in the new raised bed garden area, namely like those rhubarb plants um, and some of the starts over there, but I'm waiting until after the storm because I don't want to put little fragile plants out there before high wind and heavy rain was coming. You took the hammocks down? Wise move, I think. <laughs> This is, this is already intense and it's not even, oh <laughs> did you just eat one of those calamondins? Bless her. Did you warn her or not? I did. <laughs> you said it's sour. You, you should say food? it's going to feel no. like you got kicked we in the face. This one's worse. <laughs> 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 Me either. <laughs> 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 why do you, <laughs> 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 why you keep eating? <laughs> <laughs> I need to back out. <laughs> Toby, are you happy right now? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're so happy. <laughs> oh. All right, so Josh and Jordan are gonna help me with milking before they head back. Um, it's very windy out here, so I don't even know how much of this is gonna be useful, but we're <laughs> heading out to the barn. <laughs> we have a follower. <laughs> Y'all look at Hallie's face changing so much. She's getting diva brows with her winter coat. She's Love getting you. real thick. She, their, their hair's not coming in quite yet. Oh, mm -hmm. you're just getting in there and doing it. She's getting cleaner. Now we're gonna get all this rain this weekend for her to lay in and have to hose her off. Have you milked a cow? I think once or twice. I did it the last time. Oh, you did last time you were here? I don't know if you did the last time. It's really not that much different from milking goats. I feel like a lot less milk goes into the teeth. Yeah. With goats, you kind of have to like pinch it. Yeah. yeah, it's not like that with cows. You don't have to like pinch it off quite as much. Mm -hmm. I could do this. Yeah. <laughs> now when she, right now, like I said, her production's down because she's in heat. When she's not and you're milking out three gallons at a time, that <laughs> your arms get real tired, but. Then you become an arm wrestling champ and it's all worth it in the end. <laughs> if we had a cow though, we would definitely do it together. Yeah. Yeah. It, I, it makes it go faster. I milk a goat every day. Yeah. So. Man, she can milk that goat out and like come in the spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Chores done. It's like going after a tail. Like, no. <laughs> Last minute puppy snuggles. <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> So y'all's goal is for them to meet a hundred different people in the first 10 weeks of their life. Yep. Well, we knocked a few of those off the list today. We had a busy day around here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you <laughs> what do you think of those babies, Bear? Oh, they found the bucket. Oh, careful. <laughs> he, looked at him, he looked at him like, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, cute. Look at this little. There we go. I'll bye, pause puppies. <laughs> bye, bye, puppy. Well, guys, Josh and Jordan are on their uh, the road on their way home to North Carolina with their litter of pups. Um, definitely a fun job to be the friend that gets the puppies that come to the farm to be socialized <laughs> um it's also just lovely anytime i get to spend with them they're really precious people oh so i'm gonna feed my kids dinner i appreciate your prayers as the storm blows in tonight it'll be like in the wee hours in the morning and all day tomorrow it's gonna be going over us and we are also praying for anyone that has been in the path of Ian so far. Um, hopefully it won't be super bad here. I feel like we've done what we realistically can do to prepare. Um, our animals all have safe places to be. 
our house is secure. Uh, we won't be parking underneath any trees just to be sure. But all around, I am thankful to have a property that drains well and the knowledge ahead of time that this is coming so we can do the preparations that we're able to do. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I bless you. Until next time.